Or... Hello! Enemy ship destroyed! The Graf Zeppelin is a Tier 7 German premium aircraft carrier that for some reason has more guns than it carries planes. It's no wonder that this ship was never actually caught. Use this floating wheeler schnitzel you need to realize that your main weapon is not your torpedo bombers, but your armor piercing bombs are. You use them to make people with armor look stupid. The Graf Zeppelin has decent HP, and so do its planes. However be aware that you have horrible hangar size due to the insane amount of guns this carrier carries. What were the Germans thinking when they designed this thing? Dive Bomber Squadron, flying out. Dive Bomber Squadron, airborne. Torpedo Bomber Squadron, take off. The guns are actually a good weapon against destroyers but not much else. They are however rapid fire and can fuck up destroyers pretty badly. They can start fires but don't count on that too much. Enemy they are dual fighters so they serve as the long medium range AA as well as anti-ship guns. They don't do shit against anything else other than be annoying and cause them to blow you out of the water. Just the like enemy. the Soviet target practice on this thing in real life. Let's look more into the dive bombers. There's four planes and two squadrons. The bombers are quite resilient to AA fire, however they seem to take more damage from enemy fighters. They have decent accuracy. Not quite American but not quite Japanese either. Their AP bombs can penetrate anything except destroyers. The bombs penetrate enemy carriers the best, then battleships, then cruisers. They are jack useless against destroyers as they often over penetrate and don't start fires. The torpedo bombers are more of a secondary weapon than anything, but used correctly they are a force to be reckoned with. They have a shit spread, and you usually miss the first or last torpedo. They are not good against destroyers, as the gaps between the torpedoes are big. They are however great against long battleships, like Neeson or Hood. They also will hit all CVs at tier 7. Attack target! Destroyed an enemy ship! The ground service on this carrier is decent. Again not quite USM but not as good as Japanese CVs. The best part about this though is that with so many self-defense guns you don't even need to use planes against a destroyer that sneaks up on you. Target pennant. Now we come to the fighters. While they have the most in one squad, six, they are actually quite shitty without AA support in dogfights. They are great bomber chasers as they are fast and there's lots of them. They get shot down quite easily by ship AA. <coughs> Remember, your main armaments are your bombers and guns. You do not charge into battle. You do not see the snipe. You play objectively, bombing high point capital ships and denying capture points. This is one CV that definitely does not need an escort due to the massive amount of guns.
Attack target! Destroy the enemy ship! For the upgrades I recommend Hangar Modification 3, Damage Control Mod 2, and Torpedo Defense Mod 2. For the commander or captain you take aerobatic maneuver, torpedo alert or battlefield support, high alert in case of CV sniper, victorious charge and survivalist, reckon or generalist, dogfight specialist, then take extinguisher and demolishing expert, compartment maintenance and finally dauntless dive and either giant hunter if you prefer torpedoes or citadel strike. With all that said, I recommend this ship to anyone who wants a combination of US and JP carriers. Have fun good luck out there with the Graf Zeppelin.